She came in 2017 and brought to the DC Extended Universe a whole fortune. Yes, Gal Gadot and her Wonder Woman character were a real hit five years ago, and when everybody thought that nobody could stop her, a disaster happened in 2020 when the sequel was released. But it can be over because Wonder Woman has a lot more to give. So here's what we know about the third potential movie. Recap Wonder Woman showed how powerful the Amazons are and that the DC Extended Universe has a bright future. The first movie about Princess Diana of Themyscira had its premiere at Pantages Theatre in Hollywood on May 26, 2017, and was theatrically released worldwide on June 2, 2017 by Warner Brothers Pictures. The movie had huge success, grossing over $822 million, according to the box office, against a budget of between $120 to $150 million. And when everybody thought that this would be just the start of a whole new saga, with maybe three to four other movies in the future, a disaster happened in 2020 when Wonder Woman 1984 was released as a sequel to 2017's first movie. It was pandemic time, yes, but the numbers were so bad for this kind of movie franchise that everybody expected to overcome the previous project. Many film critics found the movie overindulgent or cliché maybe isn't a fair classification, but the movie producers, the director, and the whole team should have tried much better. The movie had a budget of $200 million and grossed only $166.8 million worldwide. This surely disappointed the people in Warner Brothers and DC Films, but they must think for the future and try to make these numbers better with a better next sequel for Wonder Woman. Here is how the story went in the 2020 movie. After saving the world in Wonder Woman 2017, the immortal Amazon warrior Princess Diana finds herself trying to stay under the radar by working as an archaeologist. She'll become embroiled in a sinister conspiracy of global proportions when a transparent golden yellow citrine gemstone will catch the eye of the hungry for power entrepreneur, Maxwell Lord. He'll steal the dreamstone from the museum hoping to use its power to save his nearly bankrupt oil company. Maxwell's greed and desires will create worldwide chaos, destruction, and instability. The world is pushed to the brink and emotionally vulnerable, Diana must find a way to save the world once again. Will mighty Wonder Woman save humankind once again? We won't tell you. Although the film is not as good as the previous one, we suggest you watch it. If not for the scenario and the story, Gal Gadot is perfect in his role. And also many other cast crew members deserve your attention. <laughs> Release date Good news, guys! Wonder Woman 3 is indeed happening. The third film was announced shortly after the second one by Warner Brothers, but the production has not yet begun. For now, it's looking that the earliest we could see Princess Diana for a third solo movie would be 2024. According to CNN, the chairman of Warner Brothers, Toby Emmerich, announced that Patty Jenkins would be back to direct Wonder Woman 3. She was the director in both previous movies and was crucial for the success of the franchise. Filming of Wonder Woman 1984 began in 2018, with reshoots taking place in 2019, as we already said the premiere was in 2020. So should it take a similar amount of time to film the third movie in the franchise, then 2024 seems like the soonest the film could be ready. But if the production doesn't start until the end of 2022, then the third movie for The Mighty Princess Warrior could happen nearly in 2025. Let's just hope that things will go on the right track and Warner Brothers will find a way to move everything faster. <laughs> Cast There's no doubt that Gal Gadot will be back as Wonder Woman, but she is one of two actresses that are confirmed for now in the cast for the third movie. Chris Pine as Steve Trevor was wonderful in the past two movies, but we think that he won't be back to reprise his role. Pine seems to think so too. For Entertainment Tonight, he said, I think Steve's done. The second Wonder Woman film also included Kristen Wiig as Diana's friend in the museum Barbara Minerva. Pedro Pascal played the main villain Maxwell Lord, Robin Wright as Antiope, Connie Nielsen as Hippolyta, and Lily Aspel as young Diana. Linda Carter, the actress who played the Wonder Woman character in the 1970s TV series, also confirmed she would return to the franchise as Asteria. We remember that she had a brief appearance in Wonder Woman 84. Never say never because we can always go back to Themyscira to watch again the last three mentioned in the row. We also won't agree that Steve's job is done. We remember that he sacrificed himself in Wonder Woman and was brought back by an ill-fated wish in Wonder Woman 84, but was gone again at the end of the movie. Also, there's nothing to say we won't get a flashback for a memory in which Pedro Pascal or Kristen Wiig appear. First Look The Wonder Woman and Sleeping Beauty star Gal Gadot in a recent interview 
shared a brief update on the production of Wonder Woman 3. Her character first debuted in the DCEU in Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice, except in this one, and both solo movies for Wonder Woman, Gadot also played the character in the 2017 Justice League team of film. Patty Jenkins, who directed the previous two movies, stated that she originally had clear plans for where she wanted the third film to go, but the director later paused writing during the pandemic period. The director revealed that she wouldn't be doing another period piece for the third movie that suggests that the new Wonder Woman movie will be in the present-day DC timeline for the first time. I'm not planning to put it in the past again, because where are you going to go? You have to go forward, that's all I can say, said Jenkins in The Hollywood Reporter. Now let's get back to what Gal Gadot said recently. In her interview with Forbes, she shared an update on the upcoming third movie by saying that the team is working on the project. We're talking. We're actually in the mix of working on the script and getting the third one made, so it's all wheels are working and turning and I'm super, super excited for the fans to come and watch Wonder Woman 3 once it's made, she said. However, things about the film are still under wraps now, with only Gadot and Carter officially announced as returning stars in the cast. The positive thing is that both the director and the main star are still confidently speaking about the upcoming sequel. Although Wonder Woman 1984 didn't perform as well as its predecessor, it feels like Warner Brothers still has faith in the franchise. Here to complete her me. Plot details. There isn't any footage yet as the movie hasn't started filming, so it'll take a while before we see anything from the third movie. Even Wonder Woman 1984 didn't give much away as regards the third movie, even with a post credit scene. We only saw the original Wonder Woman Linda Carter back as Asteria. However, director Jenkins did have a story in mind before the release of the previous movie about where the series can go, but that might have changed by now. I came up with a story and Jeff Johns, the screenwriter of Wonder Woman 84, and I beat out an entire story for Wonder Woman 3 that we were super fired up about, said Jenkins for Cinema Blend. Jenkins doesn't share any specific details about the plot for the next movie, so we have to stay patient for now. The easiest bet to make at this point is that the third film will jump forward in time once more, possibly to modern times, though that holds the potential to tangle up other DCEU timelines. On a related note, what are your expectations of Wonder Woman 3? Do you have some favorite characters from the previous movies that you'd like to see in the future project? If you like the video, like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.